Welcome to Cloud Dolls. Last year, you saw me making a winter geisha. So I thought, why not making a summer geisha to say goodbye to the summer? I get inspiration in the sea, in the sun, and in the amazing artwork of dark lady art, a mermaid. I gather everything I had it to represent a geisha. I'm gonna use this mermaid from Monster High. She needs a little bit of love and I get my inspiration in turquoise colors, seashells, fabric, sakura flowers. So I started. I get all of my material that you can find in the description box below. I start to clean it. First, I have to cut her hair really short. And I'm gonna take all the accessories out and also the tail because the tail is broken. You see it? It's broken, but it's okay. I'm gonna glue it with super glue and no one will notice. I use my hair dryer to make the vinyl soft from the head, so it's easier to take the head out of the body and also it melts the glue from the rest of the hair from inside of the head. And it's easier for me to take him out through the neck hole with my tweezers. With acetone, I take all of the factory paint from her face. And now she's ready. I'm gonna clean the body also. I'm gonna use nail polish without acetone because acetone melts the plastic. Don't forget that. Now it's time to put the tail in place. I'm gonna use gel super glue. It's easier to control it. The other one is too liquid and goes all over the place and I really don't like it. And I noticed that her neck is also broken. So I'm gonna use this thermoplastic then I'm gonna warm it with my hair dryer and I'm gonna shape it to her neck and it's gonna be permanent fix it. gonna use a new media and for that I ordered by Aliexpress this uh, mermaid skin silicone mold and this tail and I'm gonna use my micro powder in white and blue colors this is my new media liquid latex I never try it so let's give it a try first I covered the silicone molds with the micro powder, first with white and then with the blue to give it some accents. I brush it layers of latex and let it dry between the layers. This is the final result. I love the texture, but this yellow, I really don't like it. So I'm gonna try different materials to see if I can neutralize the yellow of the latex. First I use micro powder in white color in the back side and no it doesn't work then i use the blue one also doesn't work i don't see any difference now i'm gonna use metallic watercolor and this time i'm gonna do it directly in the front side of the mold and you don't see any difference acryl time I'm gonna try with white acrylic in the back side and you don't see the difference and I'm gonna try it in the front side and yes, it works. I'll try the micro powder in the front side and also works. Yes, I know how to neutralize the yellow from the latex. With gel super glue, I'm gonna glue both sides of the silicone mold of the tail I have to make it two of them. I make sure they are aligned. I glue all the little spaces between them. I make sure that it will stay really safe and covered. And I will glue it directly to the tail with super glue also. And then I cover everything with a mermaid skin. This is the neck after sanded and I'm gonna paint it in white. 
and I also gonna paint the details in her body because I don't want her to be black I want the main colors to be white silver turquoise now it's with super glue I will glue the mermaid skin and I have to say something I really 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 loved it the texture it's really reliable it looks real it doesn't fall apart it really stable so I'm gonna use it for sure for more of my mermaids and I use the rest of the mermaid skin in her body to give her more details I paint with light silver acrylic and micro powder white and blue color to neutralize the yellow. And I finish the body with decoration with the silver chains, rhinestones, seashells, pearls, also nail hearts in silver color, caviar stones. And this is the final result. I attach everything with UV resin and then I cure it under the UV lamp for 90 seconds. For the kimono, I made a really short kimono with blue colors. I already cut it and start sewing him. And now with this silver ribbon, I'm going to sew it around it. And this is the final result. I'm loving it. Now with this light blue and silver ribbon, I'm gonna finish the sleeves. For the rim, I wanna give her a touch of red color. I'm gonna use this velvet ribbon, this green and this blue turquoise. And also this red embellishment with a shade stone in the back side. I'm gonna attach everything with this sticky ribbon and with my eyeser. Now with my Mr. Super Clear and my mask, I give it three layers to the face, let it dry, 30 minutes between the layers, don't forget to use a mask because Mr. Super Clear is really toxic and I start drawing her face. I use this time light silver watercolor pencil to sketch the face and turquoise colors. Give her turquoise eyes. Don't forget that your pencils, they have to be really, really thin because you're drawing really fine lines. And I'm using also soft pastels from Rembrandt. I give it a little bit of blushing.
I choose red for her lips. Now with my black watercolor pencil, I start to giving more details to the eye line. And I want to give her some details with silver acrylic. I have a tip for you to save a little bit your watercolor pencil because it's really expensive. To make him sharp, I just scratch him in a little bit of sandpaper. And now with my black watercolor and a fine pencil, I give it the opacity that I desire in the eye lines. With much pot and little glitters, I give the final details to her face. I use much pot because when it dries, you don't see it. It's transparent. And I also put some glitters in her iris also. And of course, I have to finish everything with my white and blue micro powder. Eyelashes and for her hair I get my inspiration in the work of Lolite. I love her. You can follow her in the Instagram. It's amazing, really. You have to check it out. I'm gonna put the link also below. For that I choose this Matisse Turquoise 100% acrylic that I brush it with my pet brush and then I use my hair straightener. I will start building the hair around it, her head. Now to finish the hair, I make two braids, one from each side, that I will attach it in the back side with an elastic. I printed some accessories for her head and I'm gonna paint them with silver acrylic paint, the same one that I use for the body. I give it two layers, let it dry between the layers. And I'm gonna use some Sakura flowers, nail art, the same pearls that I use in the body, and rhinestones. And I'm also gonna use the silicone mold to make the stock. And some UV resin. can take it off the mold and I'm gonna cut it in half and now I start the fun part decorating I use UV resin to glue everything in place and for me is the most fun part of doll customizing is the decoration I cured everything under the UV lamp for 90 seconds and she's ready. And it's time to put the tiara in place to give it varnish to her mouth and eyes. And with this, our summer geisha is ready. And I named her Ali. I think it's a great name for a mermaid. I'll let you with the final photos of her. I hope you like my summer geisha and 
my way to finish this summer. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about doll customization with me and if you don't want to lose my next video. Put a like on it, leave a comment, you know I read all the comments and I see you in my next video. Bye!